Do you think it's harder to start a new IP from scratch or to rebuild a, 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 an older and like re, uh, reboot the series and stuff like that? Because we're seeing a lot of series that are being rebooted and stuff like that. So, uh, what 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 is the most difficult one? Um, I think making games generally is difficult. Um, so, on behalf of everyone that ever makes a game ever, like it's always a labor of love. It's always really tricky. Um, I think they both have different challenges. For us as a new IP, it's you know, see if it's explaining to people what Sea of Thieves is. It's explaining to people why Sea of Thieves is special, why Rare's making Sea of Thieves. And and I think if you reboot a game uh, or even you've got an existing franchise, it's like how do you bring new innovation? How do you bring fresh thinking to that? Uh, so I think both are very different challenges. And for Rare, it was very much like what's the next new IP from Rare? And then we got really excited about this pirate adventure game where people could go and make great stories together. Um, and then we just got too excited about our own idea, so we kept making it then. Okay. That, that is very cool because we can see that Sea of Thieves is a very fun game. Yep. And you're a very fun team, I, I think. Uh, you, you used to make very fun games. Yep. So is there any fun story to share like from, from the behind the scenes kind of team? Yeah. I, we are a fun team, or we try to be. Um, I'm probably the least fun guy in the studio as the boss, but um, yeah, I, they, I think games reflect who makes them. And uh, we have a lot of fun making Sea of Thieves, and some of that's we, we throw good ideas in. Like we had a prototype for a long time that we just, arguably we threw too many ideas in and we got a bit carried away and we had to really rein it back. Um, but we have a lot of fun doing it and, and really for us, like if we put something in and we have fun, like I remember the first time we put firing yourself out of a cannon, which which sounds ridiculous, like sounds absolutely ridiculous. And the designers came in and they were said, hey Craig, we've got this great mechanic, like we're gonna fire, fire ourselves out of the cannon so you can load yourself in, point yourself up to an island or you can fire yourself onto another ship. And I'm like, okay, like if that's what you think, uh, but the moment they put it in and we, we kind of played it for the first time, it was like, this is awesome. Like, and, and it was just so much fun and we were laughing and smiling and, and, and games are about fun. Like, and games are about having a great time with your friends. And, and for us, like, if we have fun doing something and, and then we go put it out to our players. So the great thing about Sea of Thieves is we're in this technical alpha phase where we've got thousands of real players playing it, including in Brazil. You know, we've probably got about three, four thousand players in Brazil in our in our technical alpha, and and we put stuff in, and then we get an immediate reaction on like, are they enjoying it? Do they like it? Do they not like it? And and that like, again, I'll use my firing yourself out of cannon. The moment we put that in, like the moment players started trying it, they were just like, oh, this is incredible, and we had so much fun. So so it stays and it keeps in them. This is a very um, different thing about the development of Sea of Thieves. Yeah. You have a lot of player feedback from the start. How did you come up with this idea of bringing the players, let them play, and see wh where this goes? Yeah, it was it was actually very early, and when we decided we were going to make this shared world game that had you, know, you and your friends going on adventures, you encounter other pirate crews. Like one thing we said early on was like we want to get players involved early. But honestly, we didn't really know what that meant when we said it, and, and we've been sort of figuring that out as we go. And it's a lot, like, as a game creator, it's a lot of things we felt really uncomfortable with along the way, because you kind of, you're the most protective of your own stuff. So you kind of go, hey, it's not ready to go out to players. And, and we really had to just teach ourselves to go, no, like, once something's kind of live enough that we can play with it that's probably good enough to go put out to players I, I can imagine the adapting process of like doing things and seeing them like play with it and yep. how they interact with it, it must be very interesting it, it is, and, and it was a real culture shift for Rare, but honestly, it's where we where we think the industry is going. And for us, like the closer developers can work in a very genuine way with their with their players and the people that are going to play and buy their games, honestly, it's a it's the best relationship for both. And for us, it's really like how do we how do we ultimately respect the players that are giving their time very early in development. Uh, and how do we 
kind of make them part of it and that's where the fun comes in because we have a lot of fun doing what we do and honestly I think our players have a lot of fun working with us because we're all in it together and we all want to see if these to be a success. That's very cool and Sea uh, Thieves has this atmosphere around it that kind of kind of sounds like an MMO right. uh, like there's always this uh, cooperative side and we're not seeing this much this much cooperation anymore we're seeing much more uh, competition like uh, um, people who used to play MMO before like co cooperative things they're tending to go and play some multiplayer competitive stuff yep. they like shifted and how was this okay let's take a step back and make everyone cooperate and maybe uh, and throw some comp competition in there but still maintain this this uh, cooperative so yeah I mean we we think of Sea of Thieves as as the most welcoming multiplayer game ever made. Uh, and that sounds like a very grandiose statement. I, I don't mean it to, but we've tried to remove every barrier between you and your friends so you can just go play the game with the people you like in Sea of Thieves. And, and that means things like cross-play. So whether you're playing on Windows 10 PC, on a gaming rig, a laptop, an Xbox One S, an Xbox One S, you can all play together. It's not a specific game mode like you can match with people on your crew regardless of the device you'll meet other crews in the world that could be players on pc players on console kind of doesn't matter and for us it's about removing all those barriers so people can play and have great adventures with the people they want to play with and where it becomes really powerful is we actually have people that have made friends in sea of thieves so they've joined crews with people they didn't know went on adventures together and then they're like, hey, I'm, I'm going to game with this person regularly. But it's up to you how you interact with them. You can see another ship on the horizon and go, now nah, we're going to keep on our adventure. We'll just avoid them and sail away. Or you could go, there's another ship. Let's go sink them. But it's really up to you as a crew. Or you can go and like make friends with the other ship. Or you can absolutely go, play music, offer them a grog and, and make friends with them. And that happens. 